This morning, we're following breaking news. The United Auto Workers Union are on strike after failing to reach new contracts before last night's deadline with Detroit's big three automakers. Yeah, this is coming to you fresher this morning because at midnight, UAW members walked out of three plants, General Motors Assembly Plant in Wentzville, Missouri, a Ford factory in Wayne, Michigan, instead of Detroit, and a Stellantis Jeep plant in Toledo, Ohio. NBC5's Jim DeSavo joins us live this morning on the city's south side with more details on the strike. Jim, what are they, what are they asking for? Well, there's several things that they're asking for, JC, and nobody wanted it to come to this. We're outside of Ford Motor Company because this plant is here on the south side of Chicago in South Deering. So this is affecting people who live here. It's hitting close to home with union workers that are all over this city. Now, you did say the big three, Ford Motor Company, General Motors, Stellantis, they were under four-year contracts. It expired at 11.59 p.m. last night, and it was only three minutes later that this message went out on X, the site formerly known as Twitter. It said just after midnight Eastern time, the UAW stand up strike begins all three of the big three. It is the first time in the union's 88 year history that it walked out on all three companies. About 13,000 U.S. auto workers stopped making vehicles after their leaders couldn't come to an agreement over contract talks. It's something nobody on either side hoped would happen. 120 years we've been through wars, pandemics, uh, chip crisis. I mean, Ford is a very agile company. Our competitors didn't make it through the last financial crisis. We did. We have the financial wherewithal and the cash to, to make it through this. But we don't need to do that. Let's make a historic deal instead of making history around a strike. There's a billionaire class and there's the rest of us. We're all expected to sit back and take the scraps and live paycheck to paycheck and scrape to get by. We're second class citizens. And you know, the sad reality is, you know, when, when, when corporations fail, we pay the price. Our workers pay the price. And the sad reality is, you know, they've made a quarter of a trillion dollars, the big three have, in the last decade. 21 billion in profits in the first six months of this year. So here is exactly what the union wants, a nearly 50% raise based on those numbers you just heard, automatic inflation adjustments, and 32-hour work weeks. Instead, the big three, Ford, GM, and Stellantis are offering this, a 20% wage increase, one-time bonus payments, and Juneteenth as a paid holiday. Now, one estimate says that the strike can cost GM and Ford combined up to $5 billion per week. We will know more after daybreak as union workers reach the picket lines at all of the plants. I'm Jen DeSalvo. Back to you in the studio.